In today's video, I'm going to show you how to successfully get a refund from JVZoo and Warrior Plus, even when the vendor refuses to give you a refund. Now, before we do that, I'm going to show you the refund policy for both JVZoo and Warrior Plus. So, right here is Warrior Plus refund policy. And their refund policy, in, as a quick summary, is that they do not handle refunds. All right? They will push all refund requests to the vendor. So that's Warrior Plus's refund policy. Now if we go over to JVZoo, JVZoo's refund policy is absolutely the same thing. Right? JVZoo is not able to process refunds for customers. So they push you to the vendor. Right? You must contact the owner directly or their support to request a refund. Now, with that in mind, you should take that as the very first step. Go ahead and contact the vendor, whether you purchased a product from JVZoo or Warrior Plus. Go ahead and contact them and then ask for a refund. Now, if you have any kind of reservations, if they're giving you the runaround or outwardly flat out denying you in, some, in a lot of cases, uh, about half the cases where I ask the vendor for a refund, they've flat out refused. Then you're going to have to take the second option, and that is to record all the issues that you have with their product and create a feedback, a video feedback. All right? And the best and quickest way to do that is with a free screen recording software. It's a Chrome extension, okay, and it's called Screencastify. Now, this is the software that I use to record any type of issues that I have with digital products that I get from JVZoo or Warrior Plus. And it, it's free. It's easy. You just uh, you know install it. You click the icon, and you click record. And once that's done... You go ahead and you you know let you uh, speak and you basically should say what what is wrong with the uh, product, like does it not work, is it uh, not functional, does it not load, um, whatever it is, you should record it and play it by and, and also narrate your, your gripes. So once once you do uh, once you've done that, you go ahead and you should. Uh, dispute and go to PayPal. All right. And once you go to once you go to PayPal.com, <clears throat> you go ahead and you log in, and then you scroll down your activities and look for your charges that you've received from PayPal and dispute the charge, open a dispute. Now I'm not gonna do that over here because uh, I don't want my personal information getting out there and it's quite a simple process. Very, very, very easy to do. Okay, so you dispute it and want in your dispute, now you submit your video feedback. Basically you use Screencastify and you use a link that they give you right? once you record the video and you post it onto your YouTube dispute as evidence. Right? And once that feedback goes through and once it's submitted, the vendor will see that and more, most likely than not, they will refund you. I have yet to have it fail on me. Like This has worked about... 90, I'd say about 90, 90% of the time, right? And that's, that's, you have about 90 days. Don't quote me exactly on that, but I believe PayPal gives you about 90 days to uh, dispute a charge. Right? They, if it's changed, uh, you should look it up. But anyhow, that is exactly how you can um, protect yourself and get your hard-earned money back instead of you know getting a bait and switch product that promises all this fluff and filler and, and you know doesn't give you anything. So this is my private tutorial for those of you who have signed up in my buyer's protection program. Once again, I'm Vince 
from Digital Nomad Institute, signing off.